Hi, my name is Miss Sherry, and welcome to Play Along Baby Bounce. All right, if you've registered for an activity bag, make sure that you have your bag nearby because we will be using it soon. All right, so we are going to start off with a very special movement song. This song is called Wake Up Feet. The song is great to sing after breakfast. You can also sing it during diaper changes. And you can even um, change the words around and sing it after an afternoon nap. All right, so go ahead and um, take baby and place baby on their back. We are going to grab onto their feet. And here we go. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up feet and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up feet, wake up feet. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Grab onto baby's hands now. Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up hands and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Wake up mouth, wake up mouth. Wake up mouth and smile, smile, smile. Wake up mouth, wake up mouth. Wake up and smile in the morning. All right, yay. Go ahead and set baby on your lap. Make sure that they are facing you. It's very important that they're facing you. That way the two of you can bond and play together. Baby can see your facial expressions. It's very important. And you can see theirs as well. So we're going to do a lap bounce. And this one's just called Bouncing, Bouncing. All right, so it goes like this. Bouncing, bouncing, baby on my knee. Bouncing, bouncing, one, two, three. Let's do that again. Bouncing, bouncing with baby on my knee. Bouncing, bouncing, one, two, three. All right. Clapping, clapping with baby on my knee. Clapping, clapping. We're going to do a big count. We're going to do a big clap when I count to three. One, two, three. Oh, big clap. Clapping, clapping with baby on my knee. Clapping, clapping. One, two, three. Oh, good job. <clears throat> Now we're gonna hug baby. Hugging, hugging with baby on my knee. Hugging, hugging, big hug. One, two, three. Oh, big hug. Hugging, hugging with baby on my knee. Hugging, hugging. One, two, three. Oh, big hug. All right. It's time to tickle. We're going to do a tickle rhyme. And this one is called There Was a Little Mouse. So go ahead and lay baby on their back again. And we are going to tickle each hand and then each foot. And then we're going to end with tickling their tummy. There was a little mouse. Tickle that hand. Looking for his house. Oh, tickle that other hand. Not here, not here, but here, 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 oh, I tickle that tummy. All right. You can go ahead and um, turn baby back around, let them see the screen at this time, because I'm going to read us a little story. This is a lift the flap book called Forest, and our illustrator is Jane Orms. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. A mommy fox is called a vixen, and a daddy fox is called a dog, and baby foxes are called, let's open, kits. Look at the little kits. And look at the daddy fox. And look at the mommy fox. A vixen. And a dog. 
and some kits. A daddy deer is called a stag, and a mommy deer is called a doe, and baby deers are called, let's see, fawns. A mommy rabbit is called a doe, and a daddy rabbit is called a book, and baby rabbits are called, let's see, kids, just like the foxes. They're called kids, just like the baby foxes. A daddy bear is called a boar, and a mommy bear is called a sow, and baby bears are called, let's see, let's see what the baby bear's called, cubs, Oh, look at those cute cubs, look at that cub is climbing a tree. There are also names for animal families. Groups of these families are called, let's see. Ooh, look at that. A salute of bears. A skulk of foxes. Let's turn this page. A colony of rabbits and a herd of deer. And that's the end of our story. All right. All right. So again, if you registered for an activity bag, then you received a dancing scarf. So go ahead and take out your scarf right now. And this song is called Dance Like Snowflakes. So you can go ahead and um, turn baby around, let them face you. You can set them on the floor or you can lay them on your back or you can set them on your lap too and just kind of dangle the scarf over them. They might reach out and grab it from you, that's okay. They grab it, you can just move their arms around with it. And let's go ahead and sing this song. Dance like snowflakes, dance like snowflakes in the air in the air whirling twirling snowflakes whirling twirling snowflakes here and there everywhere let's sing it again dance like snowflakes dance like snowflakes in the air in the air whirling twirling snowflakes whirling twirling snowflakes here and there everywhere. All right, good job. Next, we're going to do an action rhyme, and this is called our penguin shuffle. So go ahead and place baby on one knee, and we are going to slide to one side, and then place baby on the other knee, and we're going to slide to the other side. Here we go. Penguins shuffle to one side, shuffle to one side, shuffle to one side, switch legs. Penguins shuffle to the other side, shuffle to the other side, shuffle to the other side. Oh, give a little wiggle, give a little hop. Waddle around the iceberg, never want to stop. Let's do that again, that's so much fun. Get baby back on your knee. Penguins, shuffle to one side, shuffle to one side, shuffle to one side. Penguins, shuffle to the other side, shuffle to the other side, shuffle to the other side. Give a little wiggle, give a little hop. Waddle around the iceberg, 
never want to stop. All right. We're going to do one more lap bounce. And this one is called toast. And so go ahead and sit baby on your lap and we're gonna bounce them up and down and then we are going to sway from side to side and then we're gonna lift them up. <clears throat> Here we go. Bread in the toaster getting very hot. Tick tock, tick tock, up you pop. What are you doing up there, silly? Let's do it again. Bread in the toaster getting very hot. Tick tock, Tuck up, you pop! Yay! Oh, so much fun. All right, so one more time if you registered for an activity bag, then you received one of these. This is our sensory bag. And sensory bags allow children to explore, discover, imagine, create, and learn while engaging their senses. All right, and the bag is already sealed for you. And so what you can do is you can tape the bag to the tray of their high chair or to the floor and just encourage them to touch and squish the bag. Just make sure that there's always an adult supervising with this activity. All right, and for any of you um, that are interested in making one of these bags, it is a quart size bag, and there's a half a bottle of hair gel inside, and then there's a handful of cotton balls, some glitter, and then um, some sequins, and also a couple drops of food coloring. And then just go ahead and use some tape to seal it and you have a very fun, squishy sensory bag. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you all had fun.